So here in the floor of unit, unit uh, P, we're in unit P here, and in the floor here we see that there is a blue box, there's another one stuck in the wall here, and these are boxes that we use to collect micromorphology samples. And micromorphology is the study of the constituent properties, that is what things are made of at a microscopic scale. We can look at the little particles, and we can also see how they're arranged in space. And we use this in archaeology in order to understand how things are perhaps made and maybe what's inside them at a really, really small scale. Nothing hides at that really small scale, so it's a useful approach. And also, we can use it to compare one kind of deposit to another kind of deposit. So you can make sure that they're actually different or that if you're going to compare the two things that they're actually the same. And in this case, we've got a box that's placed in the very top of the edge of the pit feature, that is feature P1, where we found all of the projectile points in 2012. As we excavate down, we're taking some of these samples so we can have a little bit of a representative sample of this fill. Now, what we do with this is it's got a little bit of sediment in there. I pushed that block into the ground and we dug it out. I will send that to a laboratory in Vancouver, Washington, and they will soak it in plastic and basically turn it to a rock, in a sense. And then they glue a glass slide onto it, cut it, and then grind it down really, really thin, about 30 microns thick. And that's so thin that under a microscope, you can actually transmit light through rocks. They're so thin that way. Under a petrographic microscope, a very special kind of microscope that uh, plays around with different wavelengths of light, we can figure out basically what this whole thing is made of if there's any really micro stuff in it, and ultimately helps us characterize, describe the archeological record of this pit feature much better than just simply looking at it with your eyes.